Have you ever put your foot in the middle of last Tuesday's breakfast? Fat Tulip did. He woke up one morning, got out of bed and his foot went right in the middle of a bowl of cornflakes. Ow, oh, this place is disgusting, he said. I've got to do something about it because my friend Thin Tim's coming to stay. And he knocked over a whole pile of egg boxes we'd been meaning to turn into model dinosaurs. Just as soon as I've had my breakfast, he said, I'm going to spring clean the whole house because my friend Thin Tim likes everything neat and tidy. Well, could he have his breakfast? No, he couldn't even get to the kitchen table because there were great enormous piles of dirty pots and pans in front of him with great big garlands of potato peel hanging off them. And over by the front door, there was an enormous pile of dirty plates and cups and saucers. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Oh, just a minute, just a minute, said Fat Tulip. It's all right, said a voice. The key's in the door, I'll open it. And the door started to open. Crash, bang, crash. All the plates and cups and saucers went all over the floor. Good morning, said Thin Tim, who was very small and very thin and very bossy. I've come to stay. And when Fat Tulip asked him where exactly he wanted to sleep, Thin Tim said, in the airing cupboard, where I always sleep. But Fat Tulip hadn't tidied the airing cupboard yet. In that case, I will do some odd jobs for you until my airing cupboard's ready. What would you like me to do? Um, paint the roof, suggested Fat Tulip. Suddenly, said Thin Tim, I will paint it blue and white and yellow and a very attractive green colour. And whew, off he went to look for a ladder. Right, said Fat Tulip. First of all, I will tidy the airing cupboard. And he did. And it was done. Now, said Fat Tulip, I'll tidy the kitchen. And it was tidy. Now, said Fat Tulip, I'll take all the potato peel and stick it on the compost heap. And he took it down the garden. The potato peels were wet and soggy and there was an awful lot of... Them. But Fat Tulip managed to hold on to them all. But while Fat Tulip was down the garden, someone closed his door, locked it, and then went away again. I wonder who it was. Down the path he went, onto the compost heap. He trod in all the peelings, and then went back to the house again. But when he got back, he couldn't get in. Someone had locked the door and taken the key. Oh, I know, said Fat Tulip. Must have been Thin Tim. Tim! Thin Tim! Where are you? Thin Tim was at the top of the ladder, painting huge yellow stars on the roof. And Fat Tulip was at the bottom of the ladder, calling up. Thin Tim, he shouted. Did you just lock my door? And Thin Tim shouted back that he couldn't remember. What? Well, will you have a look in your pockets and see if you've got the key? So Thin Tim looked in his top pocket and there wasn't anything in there. Except uh, his bus ticket from Western Supermare. Looked in one back pocket. Nothing except a paper clip. Looked in the other back pocket. And in the other back pocket, there was an enormous hole. Thin Tim shouted down, The key must have dropped out of the hole in my pocket. Oh, said Fat Tulip, and started to look for it. Looked over the wall. Not there. And the drain wasn't there. 
and the path couldn't see it. And then he spotted the dustbin. Looked through mounds of old newspaper and spaghetti hoops and curried beans and cold egg sandwiches and couldn't see it, so he had a closer look. Oh, still he couldn't see it, so he had an even closer look. But he still couldn't see it. And then he saw three pots of paint that belonged to Thin Tim. One blue, one yellow, and one white. Oh, thought Fat Tulip. Key must be in there. I'll have a look. He couldn't see it. Can't feel it. Can't feel it even now. Oh, it's not here either. And just at that moment, he heard a do 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 And Inspector Challoner, the local policeman, was standing there. Good morning, he said. I was round here earlier, and I noticed that your door was open and the key was still in the lock. Now listen, Squire, any burglar could have broken in and taken your furniture. So I shut the door, I locked it, and I took the key. Oh, said Fat Julie, so Thin Tim hasn't got it? No, said the inspector. I have. Here you are. Oh, great, said Fat Tulip. But when he said, oh, great, dollops of paint came off his hands and covered the inspector's uniform. Oh, um, I'm sorry, said Fat Tulip. Uh, I, I just went, oh, great, and the paint came off my hands and splattered on your un... But when he went, oh, great, the second time, he dolloped the inspector a second time. Oh, I'm sorry, he said, it's just that uh, I had my hands in this paint, see, and I just went like that and... And he dolloped the inspector a third time. The inspector was incredibly angry and very coldly and very quietly he picked up a dollop of paint and went <laughs> all over Fat Tulip's head. Fat Tulip said, oh inspector, do, do you realise what you've done? You just got this dollop of paint and you picked it up and you dolloped it <laughs> all over my head. And he dolloped the inspector on the head. And the inspector got a dollop and dolloped Fat Tulip. And Fat Tulip got a dollop and he dolloped the inspector. And the inspector dolloped Fat Tulip. And Fat Tulip dolloped the inspector. And the inspector dolloped Fat Tulip. And Fat Tulip dolloped the inspector. Until at last, they both picked up a tin of paint like this. And they tipped it over each other's heads like this. And then they realised what they'd done. Oh, dear, said Fat Tulip. We've messed up Thin Tim's paint. He'll be furious. And then they heard the beep, boop, 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 boop noise of Thin Tim's footsteps coming down the ladder. Oh, dear, said Fat Tulip. Thin Tim looked at them both, and then he looked at the paint tray. Ah, great! He said. Pardon? Said Fat Tulip. Ah! Fantastic! Said Thin Tim. What? Said the inspector. You've mixed me green paint. I said I needed an attractive green colour to paint the roof, and you've mixed it for me. And sure enough, where Inspector Challoner and Fat Tulip had put dollops of blue paint and yellow paint, it had mixed up into a great big dollop of green paint. Your roof is going to look pretty fine with bright green stripes on, said Thin Tim. Now, you two, you look pretty mucky. Go upstairs, have a wash, and then come up to my airing cupboard for a cup of tea and a jammy donut. Oh, 
Marvellous, said Bat Tulip. And they did. 